Today I want to take a look at how to turn on all power automates in a given tenant. Microsoft has a monitoring agent that if a flow or power automate has not run for about one month, they will turn it off, disable, and deactivate the trigger. One thing we can do is use our administrative actions to turn on all MS flows, to turn on all instances and counteract that. There are legitimate times for this because you may have an event that runs quarterly or less frequently, maybe it's a semi-annual review, and it might be normal for it to have no triggered events for 30 days and then pick up usage again. If the automator MS flow goes to a turn off state, disabled and deactivated, the trigger will not fire. So the question is, how do we make all flows available all of the time? So the first step is we'll go ahead and make a new scheduled flow and we'll provide a schedule for daily and we'll give it a name, MS flow always turn on. And for this one, I'll set it to middle of the night, repeat every one day, and we'll go ahead and create. And keeping in mind, there's a two layered hierarchy. There's listing environments and then there's listing the power automates or flows. So we're going to say list environments as admin. So this is part of our power platform for admin family of actions. And there's a couple of different things we can do. So you may need to think about this at a higher level because the tenant has more than one environment and each environment can have multiple MS flows. So following our step to list the environments, we're going to add a new step to list the MS flows, list my flows, power automate management. So for this, we may want to go ahead and take a look at all of power automate management and see what our choices are. Here we go. And there's really two different you know, icons we're kind of working. The purple shield for the environments at a top level for the tenant, and then the, the blue chevron icon for the individual MS flows. So you can get a flow, delete a flow, get a flow as admin, list connectors, callback URLs, a lot of different actions available. So some of the things we might consider here, listing the flows as admin. Okay, yes. And there's a V2. Interesting. So we may want to use the the V2. Very good. Yes. Restore a deleted flow. Turn on flow. There we go. Okay. So let's go ahead and do list the flows as admin V2. Yes. For which environment? We'll get the pull down selector. You can enter in a special one. Or, you know, better yet, let's go ahead and add an action. We'll come over here to the control conditionals. And we're looking for the for each block so we can. Go ahead and nest this. So add an action for each. That'll be one of our control actions. Yes, apply to each. And here we select the environment as admin, environment ID field. Okay, very good. Yes, so we want to list the flows as admin, and the environment is going to come from a custom value, environment ID. Very good. Get these aligned a little bit better. Okay, so now we have apply to each environment, listing the flows, adding another action step here, and we want to turn on the particular flow. So let's just get that action started. Yeah, and I know a lot of the marketing is switched over to Power Automate, but if you come in here to the technical side of things, they still reference them as flow. So I think a lot of the developers and engineers will refer to them as a flow, even if the marketing says Power Automate on the homepage. Okay, so list flows as admin, turn on flow. We're going to have the environment ID. Yeah, we know that part. And which specific flow we're going to turn on. Well, that comes from the prior one. So flow name, flow display name. Right, so there's two levels of nesting. First level of nesting, apply to each environment. We can rename here to give these a little bit more description. This is going to be environment. And then over here, apply to each MS flow. There we go, turn on flow, absolutely. And that's what we're looking to do. And scheduling this sort of action to go daily will basically force all flows to be turned on across your tenant. 
there may be times when you want something disabled for legitimate internal reasons, you know, business testing, development life cycle, it's not ready to execute yet, those sort of things. So I think it's, it's smart to actually take this turn on flow step and go ahead and bring it in and basically say if the flow name does not contain disable, then go ahead and turn it on. And the other side can be a skip or a bypass. So if you want a flow turned off across your tenant, just go ahead and put the word disable into the name, and that'll be a marker for it to bypass and take no action. If it is lacking the word disable, then we're gonna forcibly turn them on. This scheduled action can be hosted on your tenant and scheduled daily to counteract a 30-day deactivator. And this will make it able to support long-term actions that might be quarterly or annual. Thanks for watching.